are such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com. I think I figured a workaround with this thing. Hello? Um, I bypassed, I figured it out. I bypassed that, that fan that kicks in, so hopefully the <laughs> goes away on this. Anyway, if you have a question, you go to assholeconsulting.com and I will answer it if you give me money. And that is a simply, a simple, upfront, and honest arrangement and offer. Oh, everything's for free, man. Everything should be free. <clears throat> anyway, uh, a young person, right? A young man in the military. Got a huge military. But you get a good discount at Asshole Consulting. About 33% off, actually. Because I actually get, eh, they deserve it. Otherwise, I have a special friend discount of 1%. That's, uh, and we have a negative 20% off sale sometimes at Asshole Consulting. All right, anyway. Uh, I'm currently enlisted in the United States Army and leave in July of 2017. I'm a senior in high school. I have <clears throat> recently been thinking of my future after the Army, and I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm afraid of going to university due to debt, and every major I thought of doing is struggling in employment. I want to do criminal justice, but realize how inflated it is. Then business administration, now I'm thinking electrical engineering or electrician. Those are the first good ideas you come up with there, son. <clears throat> I admit, uh, I'll admit, I'm one of those people who are scared of math. Uh, through maturing, I have realized that math is crucial to any meaningful career. Good. I just want advice on career finding. Okay, here's the deal. You are, the worst thing we do, this is why I wrote Reconnaissance, man. Go read it. Uh, th this is the worst thing we do to children today is we say decide what you're going to do for the rest of your life by the time you're 17 because you got to apply for the college a year in advance so you're a junior and I'm like well if you already got accepted to college then why the fuck attend senior high I mean just fuck off and then go to college but I'm sure they follow up on your CPA or GPA but you don't know jack shit and you've been living in a bubble and not a not a shielded bubble all that too but school is not the real world your teachers are dumber than fuck. Your parents are probably dumber than fuck, too, even though they love you. They're just ignorant. Um, so when we spit you out and you got to make a decision, you have no wisdom whatsoever as to what to choose. And that is 100% perfectly fine because, shit, there's a lot of people who are 40. Some people die not knowing what they should have done in life because they end up getting married, having kids, and a mortgage. And then, then the point of what they would like to do is moot. And you are doing exactly <clears throat> what I would recommend any young man or woman do, and that is join the military. And the reason I recommend that is many full, many reasons. One, you have food, clothing, and shelter paid for, and health care and insurance and education. Right? It's taken care of. Uh, two, you can figure out there's so many things you can do in the military, education-wise, to test and, and trial run careers now. Uh, that you won't have the option of doing in the real world. Now, of course, once you get your training or maybe you're a specialist or something like that, you're going to be pigeonholed in that for a while. Um, <clears throat> but you have the option to join officer candidate school. You have uh, an option to like say, hey, uh, uh, not, even, <clears throat> not even your actual job, but you have educational opportunities along the way. I think it's what the American University that the military offers. We can actually get college classes, college courses done. Um, you're going to have some time as long as you got the internet, you go online and do some research and find out what different uh, fields interest you. Um, and though it's not a, it's not a library where you're gonna have the time to pick and choose. You know, oh, I like to try that. Oh, I like to try that. You, you know, you're gonna no fucker. You're gonna do this for a long time until we tell you otherwise. And in the meantime, maybe you could try another specialty, or in the meantime, you could study something on your free time. Uh, but the key reason I recommend you join the military is no one's gonna take you seriously if you have potential. If you have ability, no one gives a flying fuck until you got some of that. You see that hair? Let's move up close. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called gray hair. And apparently, baby boomers ejaculate all of themselves if you have it. Because then they think, you might be smart. I can trust you. Meanwhile, you're like, I... Actually, this is true about me. I am, like, I have about half the work ethic I used to when I was 18 and 19. Like, I, back then, I'm like, I will do any, let's do it. And now it's like, nah, fuck you. And uh, it's weird, like women, they like to be abused. I'm kidding, don't, I don't mean that. They do like to be treated like shit. I'm kidding, they don't know. I did a video on it anyway. Uh, but the military will pay you, not just, and you say, well, the pay is kind of low. It's like, fucker, you're getting your food, clothing, and healthcare, and everything, and clothing, everything's paid for. Everything's paid for. So you're getting paid really good. Uh, and then uh, when, you know, 
when you start to get a little bit of this, you'll be in your mid to the late 30s. And then if you stayed in the military that long, uh, they're phasing it out. I think you're still, you could still be grandfathered in with the full pension, which if you want to do a full career military. You get out when you're 38, 39, or maybe you go lifetime military, nothing with that, general so-and-so. Uh, but then you get out at 38, 39, and, and, then, and then military career, pension. So you have fuck you money. And I know 38 seems a long time away, but trust you me, it is not. You should have a degree or a couple degrees under your belt or specialty that will allow you to uh, work in the real world. Uh, and then people start to take you seriously because you have the magic right there. And they're like, oh, we better take him seriously. Fuck, it would have been 10 times better you know, 20 years ago. We're going to take him seriously now. And you're not missing out on much of anything. Now, of course, there will be naysayers who, who do go into fields that are, yeah, you can make engineering, programming. I like everyone. Look at this Mark Zuckerberg. It's like, oh, yeah, look at that one guy out of the fucking hundred million young people today. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's include Bill Gates and include the baby boomers with that group. So all the 200 middle-aged and young people today, you guys got to. Oh, I'm sorry. Steve Jobs. Okay, there's three. There's three. So you, your odds are three in 200 million. You might as well play the fucking lottery. Anyway, the whole point. Military is a great option. You're doing exactly what you need to do. If you don't like the military, cool. Make sure you get your fucking degree. I know you can get that outside with a GI Bill, but I would even say get it while you're there, and then maybe you can go and pursue a master's or a doctorate with the leftover GI Bill that you have. Um, and do not fall into the false pretenses or the delusion that, oh, man, the military sucks. This is your – unless you – I don't know this about you, but this is your first real job. And I've seen this happen where it's like, man, the military sucks. It's like, dude, you have no idea what sucks. You got food, clothing, and shelter paid for. Oh, you got to run six miles, and you got to do 100 push-ups. Oh, nosies. Oh, you got to lose some weight. Okay. And I understand cleaning the latrine with the toothbrush. I got it. I know. I know. That still beats working in a fucking cube with some mental, uh, mental sadist fucking cock-sucking piece of shit who I know where he still works. Swear to God, I will never mind. Uh, anyway... <laughs> I do know where all my ex-bosses are. I do. I won't do anything. Don't worry about it. I'm saying the military is a lot better than a cube. It just is. It, it just Unless you're getting shot and killed, which you should know is a drawback to the military. Anyway, the opportunities there, you're not going to find anywhere else unless you were a rich kid's son or you went to Harvard and you're a rich kid's son. All right? Uh, you're doing exactly what you need to do. You're not supposed to know what you want to do, and that's why you take as much time as you need to in the military. Don't dick around. Don't be a stupid dumbass. Take advantage of all the educational, well, not all, the ones that would benefit you the most. Take advantage of the educational opportunities and the training opportunities that the military gives you. Think about officer candidate school. Nothing wrong with becoming a lieutenant. There's nothing wrong, you know, higher pay, although that's not for everybody. Um, and then prepare. Use the military to really get your education so that when you leave the military, you don't ever have to work, worry about working again. You are an engineer. You are a computer programmer. You are a cybersecurity expert. Maybe you go work for intelligence in Washington, D.C. as a civilian, all right? But you, and, and, and take your time to figure it out. So take your time at nights, research, see what you'd like to study, see what uh, educational opportunities the military has, see if there's any, try it, dip your toe into it, no, you don't like it? Okay, now you know not to do that. It, it, it's better you spend 10 years in the military wandering the desert, figuring shit out, and all of a sudden, oh my God, it's, you know, whatever, cybersecurity, you really like it. Oh my God, I love being a <clears throat> logistics officer. So then you go work for Pete Marwick as an accountant. I don't know. Um, that, that, is, uh, that, that is what I'd recommend um, you do. And then, you know, say you only do 10 years. Then you want to do the 401k version of the military retirement plan. You get out, uh, you already have your degree, you have a good track record, uh, and, and you have a skill that you can immediately go and start working somewhere else. All right? But you are not to know. There's nothing wrong with you not knowing what you want to do at fucking 18 and two months. All right? So, But it's up to you, though, to figure out what that is. So don't be a dipshit. I know you might get a pass to leave base. Go leave base. Have some fun. Find a girl. Get a whore. Fine. Okay. But you come. Don't don't drink. Come back. Do your research on the internet. Teachers, take some classes online through Coursera, Khan's Academy, edX. See what the military offers. Find out what you want to do. And then while you're there and you're having food, clothing, shelter, health care, 
and uh, uh, nutsack grooming, all paid for by us U.S. taxpayers, get your degree and your training there and then when you have the time and it's paid for. Then leave the military, okay? So, anyway, read Reconnaissance Man, read Worthless. Those are the two books that will help you the most that I have. I bet you Pat Economics will help you too, but those are the two that address your main concerns right here. If this video doesn't suffice, but it should because I'm a brilliant man. Uh, but yeah, I, I do read Reconnaissance Man because I, I, I don't want to give you a four-hour video because that's how long the book is on audio. Uh, but it'll detail it much more clearly and methodically uh, how to go about doing that. So, and if you guys have questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. If you need to ride, uh, get my books, go to Amazon, look up Aaron Clary. Listen to the Clary Podcast online. And remember, it's spelled C L A R. E-Y, not Clearney, not Clarney, not Clancy, not Cleary, not old Clary. There's no O, there's no Mick, there's no Mac. It's just regular fucking Clary. Toodles.